Hey everyone, uh, hey everyone, David uh, from nailbuster.com showing you the GUI component suite. Um, I guess the best thing to do is real world. We'll show you uh, how to make a quick home menu screen using the GUI components. Um, now, first thing you want to do is obviously uh, I, I added a, a sprite icon. Um, you don't have to use sprite icons. We do draw solid colors, uh, buttons as well if you don't feel like using sprites. Um, but we're going to use sprites for this demo. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a room, and let's call it Room Main, and it's going to be for mobile, so I'll do 480 by 800. Let's get the snap a little smaller, and get rid of the grid lines. Um, for the background, let's make a little olive color so it's easy to see. I'll close this off so we can get an idea. Okay, so um, now you're going to have a, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add a button. Okay, and so what we're going to do is, uh, oops, sorry, I got objects, uh, we're going to add a button. Our UI components, we're going to add a button, and um, we're going to put the button right there. And you'll see we resize the button, it's going to scale, so we want to make sure that we at least put it to the right scale. Um, we're going to right click, and we're going to go to the creation code. Now, uh, for a button, uh, for a menu button like this, what we want to do is, uh, I'll just make it simple and go UI, UI text value. And uh, we'll just make it say play game. Um, and what we need to do, we need to set the button sprite to be the sprite that we call it. So we, I think we called it sprite long butt. Um, and I'll, I'll copy and paste these other things fast so that we can uh, show you what um, we can uh, be here typing all day here. I'll just copy and paste what I have. Right. And the scaling, we're going to scale the little thing. We're going to not draw the background color because we're using a uh, sprite. And we want the down color to be green. So we just play game and that's it. Now, I want to see how it works. We just run. And you know, it's because it's visual, it'll... Um, sorry, I have to make that the main room. Let me just make that the main room for now. That's from our other sample project. Uh, we're going to run. And there we go. Play game. Hey, I pressed it and it works. Neato. All right. Um, so that's as simple as you can make a button. A uh, couple of things we're going to do. Um, uh, good. First things first. Let's. Uh, I'll use copy and paste so I don't have to do all this creation again. So I'll go go and I'll go paste selection. Make a few buttons. Paste selection again. Oops. I missed it. And uh, I'll paste selection again. I don't know why it's doing that, but it works eventually. I'll make these smaller buttons. And uh, I'll uh, paste selection again. And make another smaller button. All right. Now, we did this so that now if I go to the creation code, I can go to the play game. I can say um, high scores. I can go here and say... Mm -hmm. uh, let's just say uh, Facebook, maybe a Facebook login page or whatnot. Uh, over here, I'm just going to go creation code, change it to be about. And over here, I'm going to change creation code to be, um, let's say, um, settings. All right. So now we did all that. I just see how all that controls worked. There we go. We got our buttons. Simple, simple. All right. Now let's uh, make it a little more fun. You know, let's, the menu just comes up. So the, this button that uh, I, I wrote is powerful. Super powerful. Sarcasm aside. Uh, what I'm going to show you here is uh, a, little, a little thing called animation. Uh, animation that works on all of our components. And what I'll do here is I'll uh, paste this animation. And uh, I'm going to copy and paste that. You'll see what happens when I start putting this animation. This All this stuff will be in the sample project so you can review. And this one, let's go. We'll start from the left. And this one will go to the right. This one, let's try. Uh, I'll do the wide animation. And I'll uh, copy and paste that in the creation code. Why? All right. 
right now watch this now um, I'm gonna just run it and you see quickly a little animation when it pops up wasn't that cute all right so I mean great we have a little animation to start we uh, buttons are working now really how do we interact with our program though and that's where things get the most complicated part of this is to understand that you need what is called uh, let's call it a controller. Uh, it's, it's an object that handles all the events. So it's an event controller. And we call that the event object. So to make an event object, you just you make probably make one per uh, form or, or room. Or you can make one globally, but it's probably easier to just make a... So we can call it whatever you want. Let's call it a main um, UI. All right. Now, um, what has to be peculiar, or what has to be set up on on this is uh, user events. Uh, there's one user event that must be there. It has to be um, under the other user define user event zero. Okay. Now with user event zero, I'm gonna have code there, and this is where all control events get here. All right. So you understand that all control events will get here. And that's the object main UI. So we need to place that object here. Um, so I'm going to place it here so that we can interact with our program now. Buttons just pressing really doesn't do much. We want it to do code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and on the creation code I need to set UI event object equals and we just pass it. Uh, we just pass it the object main UI, right? The other thing we need to do, because we're interfacing with the object, is we need to set ourselves a control name. And since this button is play game, we'll call it play game. So we set the object and the controller name. Now what we do, uh, so when that's pressed, object main, the user defined event will be fired. And here we can do things. And what we'll do here is something simple like this. Uh, I'll take a sample code. So, uh, so if other UI control name equals, uh, we call it play game. I can just um, show message. You pl pressed play. Um, another thing I like doing when I do animations, uh, we'll do the belt box. The belt box will uh, do boom restart. You'll see why I did it about box that way. Uh, so play game, you press play, and I said uh, if the uh, about box is the control name, we're going to restart the room. All right, so we're going to go back into room, and this is our about box. Uh, creation code, UI event object equals object uh, main UI, and UI control name equals about. Therefore, you'll see why I did that in a second. Um, and that's it right now. So now if I run the program, boom, animation comes on. Now, just before we get into when I hit the press play game, boom, you press play. So that's how you interface with the object. And that object now can do whatever you want. And actually, even when state changes, it gets called. So if a checkbox gets pressed and you want to enable another button, hide another button, that kind of thing, that's all possible. Um, Obviously, high score, we didn't set these up yet. But the reason why I did it about, it's really nice when you play with animations. You get an idea of how animations, you can play around with the animations. You can actually change the speed of the animations. Certain buttons can go faster if you wanted. Other buttons can go slower. That doesn't have to be straight up and down. It could have came on angles. So you get an idea of uh, things you can do with the, uh, the button suite. All right, that's it for this one. We'll talk to you later.